All righty, folks, it's time I look in this camera in front of my friends, in front of my audience, my family, and tell you that I'm a fraud. Yes, folks, according to a comment on YouTube, I'm a fraud. And I want to read it in its entirely and then ask my friends to respond and, you know, tell me I'm a fraud. So here we go. You guys ready for this, Matt? Dion, you good? I'm ready, yeah. Uh... All right, here it is in its entirety. You keep preaching about early retirement, or you keep preaching about retiring early, and you are not retired. Maybe you tell everyone you retire, but anyone can check your channels, and all you can see you working harder than most of us. Daily podcasts and videos, promoting your book and convention, groups, keep learning and updating everyone on real estate news. Man, you are not retired. You work harder than me. Check yourself. I think you are still working and not aware of that. Actually, I'm going to go to Matt first because I'm, assu I'm, assu I'm assuming Dion's going to break my brain with his ninja moves. I just want Matt to just lash out at me and tell me I'm a fraud. This is the people's elbow right here. Like, this guy's an idiot. What a moron. The whole point of retiring is so you do whatever you want. That's what you get to do. Now, for you, you like you're, you like structure in your life. You like giving back. You like making the biggest impact with your time that you can make. What does that equate to? That equates to a one-to-many. For those of you who don't understand that, like the commenter here, the idea is, is you tell the story, but it gets to as many people as possible. And the best way to do that is with the technology that we have today. So fraud saying that you're not retired, you could quit tomorrow. And quite frankly, the number one comment I get the most on why people do my boot camps is they're like, we're not sure how long you're going to do them. That's very <laughs> true. I don't know how long I'm going to do them because it's 12 weeks. It's two to two and a half hours every week. And I don't miss them. Mm -hmm. So when we look at that, we look at it and say, what is the purpose of retirement? I learned this from Dion. It's to do whatever you want. It's mm -hmm. to nap. It's to eat when you want. It's to get a cumulative eight hours of sleep over a 24 to 30 hour period. These are how we measure things now in the land of retirement. And so yeah. all you're doing is what you want to do. And quite frankly, I do whatever I want to do now too. And if he's, he's clearly not watching me because I spend 90 minutes a week on YouTube. And so if you're working less than that, bravo, you win, but I bet you aren't. And mm. I'm the one who makes the stacks that chokes donkeys, not you. So I don't like listening to this stupidity of calling somebody a fraud because they work quote unquote harder. At the end of the day, it's not work when you really enjoy it. You're really doing what you need to, to give back because you and I started investing when your only option was a Tom Wu seminar. Yeah, exactly. Like when we started <laughs> investing, you didn't have a whole lot of options and everything yeah. was much, everything more was get rich quick Buy my VHS by my, and CDs. every, and everything was much more regionalized, right? It was much mm -hmm. more regionalized. Like, I don't know that Bruce Norris ever spoke on the East coast. No, yeah, for years. Heard of the guy. Yeah. You know? And so it was like all of those little things that you see. So, I mean, the first thing is, you know, retirement is doing what you want when you want and basically kind of living your life as you please. And that can be giving back or that can be completely self-serving. <clears throat> um, yeah. Or the other option is, um, you know, you could still be a working stiff like that guy because I promise you he works more than 90 hours a week. And so it's not fraudulent on any level to say that you're that you're not retired. You yeah. could stop tomorrow. Yeah. All right, Dion, let me have it. I want you to kind of, what you do always do is just tell Maddie's wrong and Zuber, you are a fraud. So uh, let me have it. So in a couple of ways, that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> so weird. Why, why, how I could figured. I possibly disagree with Matt? How do we, how do we know is, this was going to happen? Yes. I'm glad you said I'm a fraud. And then you read the comment because I thought you were just going to say, because I met Olivia. I thought you were going to say, I'm a fraud. Y'all know it. I, I married up. Right. Yeah, I, I was, exactly. That's what I was <laughs> expecting to come out. Then you read the comment. I agree with him 100%. And he's right. But here's the here's the problem. So you, you, you guys know that group text we're in with Millennial Mike. Mm -hmm. yeah. And every now and then you get that text from Dion and you go, dick what is that right <laughs> that's because i typed it out like five times backed it up typed it up backed it up and i was like okay which one's the, the right level of offense that for this group of guys right i think the tonality in this the the way this comment was written from troy is what tripped you up he's giving you one of the biggest compliments i've seen on your channel 
Exactly. You this is a compliment. You can do anything you want, but instead of doing anything you want, you've taken on the monumental work yeah. of helping other people do the same. So he's giving you the compliment of look at how much energy, time, and effort you put into helping other people be successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you call yourself retired, but you've made a job out of helping people. That's a huge compliment. Mm -hmm. I would read it completely in a different light. Mm -hmm. I think he had just enough little, um, you know, check yourself, you're working, you're just not aware of it. That's not check yourself like you would you would tell somebody you're about to punch them. That's, that's check yourself. I don't think you realize how much you're doing for people. And the amount that you're doing for people is work, even though the idea being you found something you love. It's not work because you love to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so he'll compliment you. And then I'm going to take it away. Thank you. Are. Thank you. I, I think, and I'm going to relate this to myself. I think you're doing this for one of the same reasons that I do. You were in a job where you planned on working until you were in your 60s and you were you were you were raised to be super proud of your dad working until the day he died, like he worked overtime and everything. And then you had this dawning realization that if you had four rentals, your retirement would be better. And you got on the property ladder and you learned the systems and you learned, wow, one rental at a time can create true financial freedom. Work is optional. I had a bad day at work. I'm out of here. Now you can retire to do this. The emotional um, journey of going, I'm a worker to retirement to, wow, I'm free and can actually do anything is a huge emotional win for your life. Most people will never experience that. Just like me and Matt, we've had our challenges. We weren't raised rich. We weren't raised wealthy. Matt got kicked in the teeth with um, the stock market. I got kicked in the teeth with marriage decisions. So we've had our <laughs> issues. We reached financial freedom. We've, we've all three retired now, can do anything we want, mm -hmm. but you're not stupid. You're not going to give everything away and go, I want to experience that again. Let me go back to zero or debt and then work my way back up to financial freedom. Like the three of us, I think you've realized that putting this time, energy, and effort into actually helping people gives you the emotional response every time somebody like Jeff and Suleika come on. Mm -hmm. Found your content, started house hacking. We're on our seventh one now. Neither one of us have to work. You, We get the, the Michelle doing her 1031 taking the, the the dead equity that Matt would have a heart attack about and actually putting it to work using Matt's and your strategies that I haven't done and putting it into two new duplexes, you know, tripling, uh, over tripling her cash flow from that equity. I got to go and record a couple of videos at her closings. Mm. That's why you're doing it. So yes, he, this person, I think Troy is right. You, you have a job, you are putting a lot of effort enough to be considered a job into helping people. But I think you're doing it for a selfish reason, like me. Yeah. yeah. The emotional okay. roller coaster. All so, I have to say about that is Dion has to turn himself into human origami to get there. And yeah. I would just, I would, I want to know the, want to know the definition of lazy? Me dry goldsing the guy with an elbow and you having to sit there and explain that. I'd much rather just hit him with an elbow. So it, it's funny. I, I, I actually, I thought about this one for a while. So I want to kind of break this down. The first line, you keep preaching about retiring early and you're not retired. So that first line, what I've come to believe, and again, Matt, Dion, you're my boys, tell me where I'm wrong. I think there's a confusion about re what retirement is. Yes. I believe this individual thinks retirement means you can play golf, nap, go to the movies, you know, whatever it is. And if you guys have followed my content for any length of time, I tried that and got fucking miserable, <laughs> right? I was depressed, suicidal. My DNA, my human whatever, whatever makes me special, I have to contribute. It got so bad, I almost got a job, like 40-hour-a-week mm. job, because I didn't want to feel depressed. I didn't want to have suicidal thoughts, right? Whatever. So I think... I think in this first line is we have different definitions of re what retirement is. So again, I think he, Troy, thinks retirement is you don't do anything meaningful. I think that's a pile of shit, frankly. Mm -hmm. um, I think retirement is not being paid by somebody else. So again, maybe we have a, a definition problem. So that's line one. Want me to keep going or you guys want to respond to that? I, I do. Go ahead, Dion. No, you first. So, so that's kind of why I, I don't see us as part of the fire community. The retire early thing trips everybody up. And right. I think the fine movement, financial independence is what yep. matters. You are not dependent on selling your life one hour at a time to get money from somebody else. You've created it yourself. And now you can do whatever you want with your time. And what you're doing is this. 
Yeah. Matt. It is much, it is much different retirement from the perspective that you're not working for somebody else's goals. You're now working for your own. That's my yeah. definition of retirement. I'm not working for somebody else's goals anymore. I'm working for my own. And so what I do with that time, what my goals are, what I'm doing with that time is I want to give back. I want to do projects that impact my community. I want to, you know, things like that. And so I don't, he might not know because he's not retired, that he has no effing idea what a day looks like when you don't, when you aren't someone else's bitch yeah. to do stuff. And he's certainly never been a top performer, Mike. Yeah. Clearly. Never. Um, so the other thing I'll say about line one before we get to line two, because I thought about all this way too much is one thing I am proud of is my North star hasn't changed since video number one. Mm -hmm. What I am working for towards is creating a legacy that outlives me by 50 years. That is seemingly an impossible goal. And the only way to get there is to keep showing up and keep helping and improving and, and doing all of that. And you want to say I'm not retired because I'm trying to create a legacy of 50 years. I'm going to disagree with you to the end of the world. You, you can say what you like, but that's enough on line one. We got more lines. Here's line two. Maybe you tell everyone you retire, but anyone can check your channels and all, all of us can see you're working harder than most of us. So, okay, let me break this down. You may see lots of content come out for me, multiple days, multiple channels, but let me tell you what my day looks like. I wake up early. No, no secret, no alarm clock. I read the financial news. Hint, hint. I've been doing that for 30 years. That's never going to change. I have eight figure plus to, to, to worry about. So it's not like I'm not going to do that. Um, so that's not changing. And then as mm -hmm. far as my YouTube channel goes, thanks to Olivia, Dion, you're right, married <laughs> up, smarter than me. I work three hours a day, five days a week. May appear that I'm doing more than that, but I pay people. Right. I have 1099s. I pay people to make that look more complicated. So if I work 15 hours a week and I work harder than you, I don't know what to say to that. That's that's sad. That's sad. Dion? Yeah. So I, I was going to do this for Troy at the end of the video, but I want to do this for you. Oh, no. Okay. This is for you. Thank you okay. for doing those 15 hours a week because I don't read anything financial. Never would, never will. But I get to watch your daily financial update. Mm -hmm. So I've, I, I, I and, and have made massive life decisions that contributed to me being able to retire early. And I'll, I'll use an, an exact example. In 2020, I closed on my fourplex. And then the pandemic happens, the eviction moratorium, the rent freeze, all of that. <clears throat> and I sit back and I go, wow, this maybe this is a year to stabilize. Yep. And then on the daily financial news, somebody smarter than me that actually reads stuff and educated mm -hmm. themselves says, are you watching interest rates? <laughs> and I went out and I thought, holy crap. This triplex is the best return looking deal ever that of, of any of the deals that I got. So I empty out my retirement accounts. I watch interest rates. I get my best deal that is now it's cash flowing twice the mortgage. Hmm. Like the profit. It's so thank you for doing the work. I appreciate it. Matt, have any thoughts about that? Um, no, not really. I mean, again, it's, you know, if, if the guy's working, I mean, he, he the barometer was and the gauge by which we were measuring was he works less than all of us. Well, I work 90 minutes a week on my mm -hmm. YouTube stuff. So yeah. all the rest of it is completely, uh, you know, given other people to take care of for me. So, yeah, I really think it's, it, it, you know, I don't know if whether to take it as a compliment or not, but I really do 15 hours a week. That's all I do. It may appear like a lot more. I don't edit videos. I pay other people this stuff. I post, I schedule stuff. Um, but more importantly, that 15 hours allows me to feel like I'm working towards my goal of creating a legacy that outlives me by 50 years. Mm -hmm. It's an easy trade. All right. Mm -hmm. So the last line, man, you are not retired. You work harder than me. Check yourself. I think you are still working and not aware of it. Dion, we'll go to you first this time. I, I would need the context of you work harder than him, but I, I, I am, I'm going to fall back on without turning into human origami. I think he was giving you a compliment. You talk about being retired early, but you're putting so much, what looks like so much effort into helping other people, because that's the goal. When you achieve a goal is that you are there, you have reached the summit. Now you turn around, you reach down and you grab the hand of the person behind you and you pull them to the summit. And that's what you're doing. 
So I, I, I still, I'm going to take Troy. I think he was giving you a compliment. Yeah, I can't bend that way. I don't see it as a compliment, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm not flexible. It's Matt, true. what do you think? Um, yeah, like whatever, Troy. Okay, and yeah, like I mean, I, you guys see how I am with people that leave negative comments on my channel. I torch. <laughs> I absolutely light them up because you know what? It's like, honestly, I light them up and then I forget and I move on, but I don't carry the baggage around with me. That's yeah. why, that's why, that's why I don't have gray hair. That's why I'm not so aged, you know? And it's like, I don't carry that stuff. Like you see these people that carry every little word that somebody says about them. Mm. And it's just like, they're wearing the weight of the world on their shoulders. Like it's a hundred pound vest. It's like, I just don't care. Like if you're just here to, to, you know, to dump on me and you, you hate me and I'm ugly and I'm unsuccessful. Okay. Sounds good. But I'm going to light you up because now I'm going to point out your flaws. And when you write something like that, all you do is point out your flaws. You don't point out mine. So yeah. I'll light you up. And then, and then literally for me, I'm off and I'm done with it. I just don't care, but I care enough in the moment where I'm going to answer you because I think. Mm. I, this is where you and I, this is the one area that you and I differ a lot, Mike, mm -hmm. is that for me, I'm more than happy to light them up. That's what helps me forget it. Mm. So I light them up. The book is closed and I move on to the next one. Yeah. And it's just that good for me. And so I don't carry around any of that weight of their disappointment. I had my entire family want to disown me because I dropped out of school. Yeah, all a bunch yeah. of hardworking immigrants that sacrificed everything to put me into school or college or whatever. And right. I didn't know. Right. You know, so at the end of the day, for me, that's what my therapy is, is I get to light you up and then I close the chapter and then I move on. And more often than not, I just got a nice big room for rent in their head because mm. now they're watching my stuff nonstop and they're looking for areas to pick at me. Yeah. Knock yourself well, out. Have a blast. Hopefully you learn something along the way. So, again, my thoughts on this, again, you work harder than me. No. And, and I want to be clear on the def and again, I think a lot of life is definitions Agreed. and a couple of these words like Dion can bend and go, Hey, Troy's giving you a compliment. I look at him and look like he's being a dick. So who knows? Same but way. I think we differ on the word work. Hmm. I want to be very clear. I haven't worked in five years. I don't consider my three hours a day work. I mean, think about what I do. I wake up and read the news, which I've done for 30 years and it's never going to change. Right. I have a I have a note. I have notes with, you know, five, eight, ten points on it. I talk to a camera. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Then I have an eight o'clock and nine o'clock and a ten o'clock. I get to talk to friends. We exactly. get to talk about what we're really doing now. hundred percent. Our conversations have ha saved me hundreds of thousands of dollars. And in a few cases, made me millions of dollars. Why wouldn't I have these conversations? Absolutely. Just because we're having recording them and sharing them with the world. I mean. I don't get it. And the other thing to think about, and we're going to do this in video number two, is if I gave a rat's ass about AdSense, we would be producing doom porn. Yeah. And we would be amazing at it because we have great stories and we can spin things. Sure. I don't give a rat's ass. In fact, there are failed mortgage brokers and failed real estate agents that are doomers that will never do a mortgage and a home sale again. Because that's the route. I mean, who would want to get a mortgage from a doom mortgage broker? Who would want to buy a home from a doomer real estate agent? The they, best part, they have the, to do, but doom. The best part is no one even knows who they are. You don't matter. You're such a part of the process. No one knows who you are. No one cares who you are. You're just some poser on YouTube that thinks you know, that thinks you know how to read a chart. Wrong. It yeah. thinks you know how the economy is going wrong. How's your seven rate cuts now, jackass? How's this massive, huge decline in rents? Whoops, I've gone up on all of them except for like two. And they were yeah. already so far past market, it wasn't even funny. So yeah. again, it's just at the end of the day, it it's, you know, I would trust, I bring stuff to you guys yep. because you're in the same boat, might be a different market, might see it a different way. All of those things are valuable necessarily getting to hear, I stopped watching all of those channels because it was the same noise Stop and nonsense day. over and over again. And it was human origami of how you can find a way to make this clickbait so they could actually get a view or 30,000 or 50. 000. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. I'd much rather have the tiny channel that I do making the impact on the people that it is in a positive way 
Tell me how many people three years ago that didn't buy a house are now very excited and very happy that they didn't buy a house three years ago. That number is zero. Yeah, exactly. All righty, guys. So uh, I guess I'll just ask it this way. Do you think I'm a fraud? We'll go to Matt first. No, no. All Retirement right. is about doing what you want not and living your life by your own schedule, not someone else's. It's just that simple. All righty, Dion. I held you for last because I feel like you made to hit me with a sledgehammer. Am I a fraud? No. I think... I wasn't ready for that. that. that <laughs> <laughs> the issue is the problem with definitions. Yeah. Right? You, you nailed it with, they think retirement means X. It doesn't matter what they think retirement means. It, it's... it's uh, Going your own way mm -hmm. it means your own way. Mm -hmm. Turn it the other way. I don't like to be depressed. Depression's bad. Suicidal thoughts, bad. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Sure. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Matt, where can they find you? Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube and Instagram. And the series of The Jail has started today. Nice. I Daily posts on Instagram on all that we're doing every day at The Jail. Awesome. Dion? You can find me right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom, with a nice small channel like Matt's because the doomers, the crash bros get all of the views because if you want to help yourself, you tell people what they want to hear. And if you want to help people, you tell them the truth. So the three of us and the nine others that come on your channel are going to sit here and keep telling you the truth. There you go.